the first stanza opens with a reference to pace which is taken up in the second section by slow movement the lines weave in and out of the three fills and emerge as single models learned the first stanza refers to physical love and suggests how to win women women are treated as birds of prey making love is like the experience of hunting the lover manipulates the situation in such a manner that the women cannot resist but surrender at the cost of being blamed the poem with simple words that to force the pace and never to be still is not the way of those who study birds or women that is those who hurry and are impatient cannot watch birds or please a woman or compose a poem the best poets wait for words according to the poet the hunt or struggle to watch a rare bird or please a woman or compose a poem does not require an exercise of will that is hard work but patience and love to watch slowly the movement of a timid wing of the rare bird on a hill and what he ultimately wants to suggest is that patience ultimately pays the second stanza stresses the fact that slow movement is good one has to go to a remote place just as one has to discover love in a remote place like the heart's dark floor it is there that women look something more than their body and that they appear like myths of light and the poet in zigzag movements yet with a sense of musical gladness managed to combine sense and sound at the end of his wait the poetic word appears in the concrete and sensuous form of a woman who knows that she is loved and who surrenders to her lover at once so patience is more powerful than it seems to be to watch the rarer birds one has to go along deserted lanes and where the rivers flow in silence near the source or near a shore which is far away and thorny that is full of difficulties like the heart's dark floor which again means as deep in the forest as the core of heart which is also deep and dark this is how a bird watcher succeeds next he talks about the love of the woman according to him to find true love a lover has to go deep into the darkness of heart and there the woman is not only flesh and bone but myths of light which means mysteries that remain in the center of hearts darkness in this process poetry and love word and woman become intertwined but this slow movement of love and poetry which shows no irritable haste to arrive at meaning does not come by easily in order to possess the vision of the rarer birds the poet has to go through the deserted lanes of his solitary private life he has to walk along the primal rivers of his consciousness in silence or travel to a far off shore which is like the heart's dark floor the poet then gloats on the slow curving movements of the women both for the sake of their sensuousness and the insight they all three are hunters we are told ironically none are going to devour what they succeed to hunt the poem conducts a lesson through comparisons between the three poet the, between the three poets lover and bird watcher poet is placed first in the title and in the poem he comes last the differentiated placement is suggestive of who is learning and who becomes a lesson 
Lover and bird watcher are illustrative cases for the poet to learn the craft of poetry. The last two lines of both the sections indicate that the moral to be learned is for the poet.